വെൽക്കം ടു എ ടി സി എം ദ എമർജൻസി മെഡിസിൻ ചാനൽ എ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഇയർ ഓൾഡ് മെയിൽ നോൺ കേസ് ഓഫ് ഹൈപ്പോ തൈറോയിസം പ്രസൻറ്റ് ദി ഇയർ വിത്ത് കംപ്ലൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ഹെവിനെസ് ഓഫ് ചെസ്റ്റ് സിൻസ് വൺ ഡേ ഓൺ ഓഫ് ഇനിഷ്യൽ ടെൻ സെക്കൻഡ് അസസ്മെൻറ്റ് ദ പേഷ്യൻ വാസ് കോൺഷ്യസ് ഓറിൻ്റെ ആൻഡ് ഒബിയിങ് കമൻസ് കമ്മിങ് ടു എയർ വേ എയർ വേ വാസ് പ്രേറ്റിംഗ് ഓഫ് പൂളിംഗ് ഓഫ് സെക്രീഷൻസ് കമ്മിങ് ടു ബ്രീത്തിംഗ് റെസ്പിറ്ററി റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ട്വൻറ്റി ത്രീ പെർ മിനിറ്റ് സാച്ചുറേഷൻ ഓഫ് നയൻറ്റി സിക്സ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഇൻ റൂമെ കമ്മിങ് ടു സർക്കുലേഷൻ പൾസ് റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫോർട്ടി പെർ മിനിറ്റ് ബി പി ഓഫ് വൺ ട്വൻറ്റി ബാർ എയ്റ്റി മില്ലിമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് മെർക്കുറി ഓൾ പെർഫറൽ പൾസ് ആസ് ഈക്വലി പാൽപ്പബിൾ at this point of time we have taken an ecg mm. uh, which showed uh, second degree av block so here uh, bp was uh, 128 oh. heart rate is around uh, 40 okay, mm. okay so so ecg is showing uh, av block so second degree av block so uh, uh, can you tell uh, like what is first degree av block uh, first degree av block mm. there is prolongation of pr intervals mm. more than five boxes yes okay uh, what is normal pr intervals uh, 3 to 5 mm. small 100 boxes. to uh, 120 to 200 mm. milliseconds okay uh, what about second degree mobits type 1 and type 2 uh, second degree further classified into mm. mobits and uh, advanced mm. second degree av block mm. mobits the criteria is mm. at a point of time mm. uh, two or more impulses should be transmitted mm. Mm. and at a point of time one impulse should be missed yes in mm. mobits type 1 mm. it is a uh, gradual prolongation of pr interval yes. followed by missing of the mm. whereas mm. in mobits type 2 pr interval is constant fixed and mm. okay uh, if that does not fit in the criteria it comes on the mm. advanced mm. second degree av block okay. then comes the complete heart block mm. where the pp interval and rr interval are regular but p and r does not follow each other okay okay or av dissociation okay so um, here we are dealing with a patient with a bradycardia right uh, so if a patient comes to er with complaints of chest pain and uh, bradycardia how will you manage initially like initial management uh, initially first is uh, we will connect the airway breathing circulation abc hypoxia mm. there uh, we will take a 12 lead ecg chest leads we will connect the access and 12 lead ecg okay uh, then uh, we have to class way it is whether uh, the patient is uh, symptom uh, symptomatic and asymptomatic yes. uh, symptomatic means any any hypotension uh, any hypotension. altered mental status signs of shock signs ischemic of, chest discomfort yes. heart, heart failure. failure okay yes. if anything is anything of the above is present unstable uh, uh, it will take it as an unstable uh, bradycardia sir. so we should act very quickly yes. what what drug will you give first uh, first uh, we will prefer atropine mm. 1 mg uh, mm. start over 3 to 5 minutes we will give we can mm. repeat up to a maximum of 3 mg 3 mg every 3 to 5 minutes 1 mg we can give mm. okay so uh, since we are dealing with bradycardia what all are the cardiac causes of bradycardia Uh, cardiomyopathy can be there uh, mm-hmm. mi mi inferior valve mi okay okay then six sinus six syndrome, sinus syndrome. Okay. okay and other uh, common electrolyte imbalance which causing bradycardia uh, hyperkalemia can uh, cause uh, what, uh, what are the ecg changes in hyperkalemia can you tell uh, most common is uh, mm-hmm. bradycardia uh, tall t waves can be okay. so uh, other other causes like any drugs which can cause bradycardia Uh, beta blockers yes. calcium channel blockers oh. digoxin mm. now made around also mm-hmm. made around also can so in if a patient uh, comes um, comes with come to er with the history of uh, uh, multiple tablets conception of uh, any beta blockers or calcium channel, what will you give any any this any special drugs to be given and don't we can give uh, glucagon can yes, be glucagon can mm-hmm. ib bolus followed by infusion, infusion can be given okay and uh, so any endocrine causes of uh, bradycardia Uh, hypothyroidism hypothyroidism okay mm-hmm. okay so uh, so we have discussed about uh, uh, any any most common uh, any other poisoning any other poison op 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 poisoning like it's very common and uh, what about uh, what are the features clinical features you will see in op poisoning lacrimation salivation excessive pain, salivation my, lacrimation myosis. pinpoint pupils, pupils can be there uh, so uh, if a patient uh, if a, a patient is having bradycardia and pupillary asymmetry so what all will be your differential diagnosis um, raised ict raised uh, ict uh, ic bleed, bleed yes. ic bleed yes can be the fontan uh, hemorrhage yes. hemorrhage mm-hmm. no. opioid overdose okay. all this can lead to <coughs> pinpoint pupils and and usually we will see in um, if any patients with hypotension there will be usually tachycardia will be the common set and if a patient comes with uh, in in a rta patients comes with uh, 
bradycardia and hypotension what will you suspect uh, it can be neurogenic shock neurogenic shock okay. and in case of there is uh, uh, hypertension and bradycardia but cushing uh, reflex, reflex. Okay. okay so um, this dds you should keep in mind okay and um, we have given a troton right yes. after that what will you do next Uh, if next, it is not responding uh, we can start on dopamine or mm. adrenal infusion why we are selecting dopamine usually in ed most of the cases we will select noradrenaline so why not noradrenaline why dopamine uh, chronotropic and anotropic action okay so what is the dose can you tell me the dose uh, dopamine uh, 5 to 20 microgram per kilogram per minute okay you can start uh, adrenaline 2 uh, to 20 microgram per kilogram okay. per after this at this point of time if even if after this patient is not improving so what will you do next pacing can be done transcutaneous transcutaneous pacing, pacing can be done how will you do can you explain the process, where will you keep the pads uh, same like kd we will keep uh, on one, one below the, the right clavicle, clavicle and uh, over the apex, apex yeah. okay uh, then uh, we can just Set connect this and uh, then connect and we can suggest for demand pacing or continuous pacing uh, and once demand pacing is selected Uh, mm. then we can set the intrinsic heart rate mm. above the uh, approximately around 60 mm. then we can increase the milliampere mm. uh, till it captures the rhythm mm. and what milliampere captures the rhythm mm. we can select that yeah. then we can uh, okay okay so and we can give sedation sedation also to the patient uh, we have to, ideally we should explain to the patient that we should take concern, concern. And uh, mild procedure sedation, sedation also we can consider and later we can do the same, same thing so Uh, so so any patient comes um, come coming to the ed with bradycardia uh, so we should follow the bradycardia algorithm right can you can you tell me the bradycardia algorithm uh, when the patient comes to bradycardia mm. uh, initially airway breathing circulation iv access mm-hmm. hypoxia to be corrected mm. get the 12 led ecg mm. and connect to the monitor mm. then you have to think about whether stable or unstable, unstable. tachycardia yes, yes. with this uh, high if there is hypotension altered mental status signs of shock mm. ischemic chest discomfort or acute heart failure mm. then come a unstable bradycardia mm. if stable ma- bradycardia observe the patient mm. unstable bradycardia then mm. we can go ahead with atropin mm. dopamine adrenaline mm. and mm. transcutaneous pacing, pacing. Yeah. okay uh, we should um, inform the cardiology, cardiology team and immediately mm. cath lab should be ready okay any uh, any role of uh, echo echo like bedside echo you should will be doing in all patients yes. with chest pain mm. so uh, you should look we looking for or uh, reversible causes of uh, uh, bradycardia Bad okay and yes. here we have you have done echo no for this yeah, we have done echo uh, to rule out tamponade yeah. uh, tamponade yes okay so uh, uh, what happened to this patient further uh, this patient was then taken to uh, it was a stable stable okay. bradycardia right stable bradycardia uh, no yeah. other symptoms no, no other giddiness symptoms. no nothing uh, they have did an alter uh, that showed uh, variation between stable bradycardia and also hmm. two is to an av block were present intermittently okay later the, the patient was taken for permanent pacemaker implant okay okay so uh, basically in a case of uh, bradycardia any patient with bradycardia we should uh, class wait as symptomatic or asymptomatic and we should, if patient is symptomatic we can follow the bradycardia algorithm and uh, meanwhile we should keep in mind uh, what all other dif- or any reversible causes or what is the cause of bradycardia any reversible causes are there like uh, hyperkalemia correction can be given and uh, we should act very quickly okay and uh, we sh- we should inform cardiology team also and uh, uh, that's it anything else you would want to add so uh, so that it as an emergency physician uh, you should be able to diag- um, manage and diagnose and manage all bradycardia and should read more about approach to a patient with bradycardia thank you